there guys. What I have here for review is an Aldred Classic. Now this particular bat I think was ordered 212 to pick up like 210 and it comes in 213 and a bit. As far as pickup goes, I think it feels 211. Uh, and the reason it feels 211 is because it's got this massive handle on it. It's really, really thick. It's a semi-oval feel, really thick. I mean, I'll give you the Basically it's 42 millimetres by 37, it's much much thicker than, you know, it's almost like the end of my grip cone, 40, what was it, 43 millimetres is wider than the end of my grip cone, so yeah, I pretty much find the end of my grip cone too wide to hold, so if you like a really thick handle, then you'd probably like this. These are the new uh, stickers. They first came out with the Prestige, um, but they've been continued on for the Classic. Uh, very similar look to the Laver and Wood. Um, and it's got that distinctive Made by Humans thing that Paul puts on his bats. If you don't know, Paul's now the primary, uh, I guess, bat maker that features for uh, Newbury as well. So a lot of his stuff on the Newbury site and on his own page is talking about his relationship with Newbury. Um, these bats are distinctly different from a Newbury, um, but I don't know. If you want different stickers, maybe buy a Newbury. The features that I really like about this bat, um, I'll get to them. It's 106 mil wide. The edge size is not huge. It's 33. It's got a real significant rounded face on this one. Camber would probably be about 6 mil. If you can see it from this way. It's quite round or it's really heavily boned on the edges actually. Which is a good bit of bat making. You can see where there where we spun it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 grains. A uh, little blemish coming through here. I don't know what grade this was. Um, it may actually be the top grade. It's fairly clean on the back. Every Aldred has a number on it. It's got this very parochial Made in England sticker on it. Rubber inserts. Very nice quality binding. Really heavily glued. I mean, that adds a little bit of extra weight there too. So, rather than putting a huge knob on the end of it, there's a joke there always, rather than putting a huge uh, knob on the end of it, you can sort of achieve a weight gain in the handle by uh, putting extra glue in and making it thicker, uh, and that creates a good counterbalance for the bat. This one's definitely got a very nice counterbalance as you can see there, and that's why it picks up uh, so well for its weight. Um, finish is fairly good, but I did find you can see all the polishing marks in it, which is unusual. I didn't see that last time I got it ordered through, and they're running off in a diagonal direction here rather than straight down the grain, which is really obvious. Um, so that's unusual. I think the bat was requested with the scuff off so I could knock it. The scuff's been put on. I don't think Aldred will take the scuff off even if you request it. Um, 
but so be it. You can see it's handmade. I haven't measured the spine yet. So this was previously called the Velocity Shape. It's got quite a big spine actually. Probably about 65mm. Um, and you know, if I take into account that rounding, maybe a 35mm edge. Toe is quite big. 27. And there's a fair bit of weight left through the shoulders. Turn that back. 16. And there's absolutely, oh, there's no concaving whatsoever. So for a bat with little to no concaving, it picks up remarkably well. But, I, you know, as I say to you, that's this... This is the reason, is, is all the weight in the handle and how thick it is. If a regular handle was put on this, it'd probably pick up like that Moeen Alley. It would probably weigh 2.12 and a half and, and pick up 2.12 and a half. But it weighs 2.13 and it picks up uh, 2.11. Um, I'll put it in my device to see the difference between 2.340 yeah, this would be in the um, good pickup range. The thing I always like about Aldred's bats is his pressing. I think he presses a damn fine bat. And I don't think this will surprise me, and I haven't tapped it up yet, so here we go. going right. I think it will show its real potential when we bounce a ball on it. Okay, as usual start with a four piece. I have to laugh, the owner showed me the video when Paul said off. Oh, so can you send me the photos of it? And uh, Paul basically showed him the bat and said, oh, here's the pickup test. And he sort of got the ball and he went, all right, here we go. And it's like, it was that proof. All right, so dupes. I mean, it's 2.13 bat, so it's going to go. Um, look, I, I don't mind it. It's a classic look. It's it's not um, over the top. It's very, I don't know what that period is. It looks like it's come straight off uh, something of the 1930s, actually. The Orient Express bat, maybe. Very full. Very traditional. If you wanted a bat which has, you know, those... Um, classic qualities, which is what it's called, then, you know, I can't really say too many bad words about this. Although I sort of have. But, um, yeah. So here we go. That's the Aldred Classic.